and to be loved. Hey guys, so we are back with a part four to this top Cydia tweaks for iOS 9.3.3 through 9.2.1. To kick it off, we have Vintage Switcher, and it makes me feel a little bit nostalgic, but it also makes me feel unique, and it just feels more simpler than just that big switcher, and you don't really need to see the entire main app on what it's doing. Next up is Haptic Feedback, and this gives a vibration for the home button, the power button, even the volume switchers, and it just feels really nice. Sometimes it can get a little bit annoying, uh, especially when you're texting someone and you turn off your phone and you feel that vibration. Sometimes I think that it's just someone who's uh, just texted me when I turned it off. Next up is volume 8 and this takes the windows volume and it adds it here. Now you can't touch it and move it which gets frustrating. Next up is blurred and this gives the black keyboard to go everywhere and it looks really nice. The only place that it doesn't go is Cydia, which kind of sucks. Also, here is Swipe for more, and it really annoys me when I have to uninstall a non-functional tweak and I have to open it, but now you can just swipe and delete it. This is a small one, but it adds a little bit of detail, and that is Big Bubbles, and what this does is when you send a photo to someone, now it has this little bubble format. Next up is Power Tap, and what this does is if you're not trying to totally shut down your device, you can just tap now and reboot it or respring it or put into safe mode. And you can customize the text as you can see that I've done. Now this wasn't working for my phone, but I've heard a lot of people have had success with this. And this is Medusa and this enables split screen multitasking for your phone and iPad. If you're going to use your iPad, then use Medusa for iPad, but for your iPhone, just use Medusa and according to other people, this should work. If it doesn't, then this is a very good one to keep in mind because it does implement multitasking, which is something that a lot of Apple users have wanted. As you can see, my accept and decline have been replaced with say yes or say no, and that is thanks to HotDog. With HotDog, you can change almost any part of the interface to say other things, like the slide to unlock. Now, the people who saw the lock screen video will know about Barry C8. For those of you who don't, Barry C8 is a tweak where you can put an app down in your lock screen and when you drag it to the bottom and you see those waves form in then you just unlock your device and it'll automatically open it to that app so yeah guys thank you guys for watching i know that the jailbreak videos are getting a little bit repetitive but i've seen some positive feedback on it and i'll be sure to make more tech videos and vlogs and stuff besides this so yeah